Let's build an AI that automates 80% of any e-commerce store's support calls. By the end of the video, you'll have a production-ready AI voice agent ready to deploy either to your website or to your client's websites for hundreds of dollars every single month. I'm Anthony, and this is the number one community for AI voice agents. Here, we use AI to unlock the freedom that we want in our businesses and in our lives. So if you appreciate me making these videos, hit the subscribe and like button right now and let's go ahead and get started. So we only need two things for building this AI voice agent. Number one, we need a website. This could be any website. I just chose this one because, you know, they have really nice clothes. And also uh, if you look at their FAQ, it, is, it actually doesn't have any information for the FAQ, right? So they're obviously missing a lot of revenue just by not being able to answer a lot of questions. And they don't have a phone number, which means that, you know, obviously people are going to be looking to ask questions, but if they can't get the answer, then they're not going to place an order, right? And then number two, we're going to need a vapi.ai account. And this can be done completely free. I'll put the link in the description. But this is basically just the most beginner-friendly platform for building and developing and deploying AI voice agents. So let's go ahead and get started with the website that I was talking about. This was just called Good Bear. They look like they, uh, they're selling lots of clothes. Uh, but like I said earlier, they have a lot of information that they're not really presenting in a really good way. And so our goal is to basically get the information, put it into a, an AI voice agent, so that whenever somebody calls that number, it's going to automatically be able to pick up the phone 24-7 and also multiple lines at the same time and answer those questions so that people can easily get the information and place the order that they're looking to make. And obviously that's going to be worth hundreds or probably thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands for a big company like this. And so you can easily see how valuable a service like this is. So the easiest way to get the information for this website would just scroll all the way down to the information section, right? Almost every website is going to have a section like this where you can basically click on something that they're trying to tell you and figure it out. So for this example, we're going to use the return policy, but obviously when you're doing this for real, for real, you're going to want to get all the information because if you think about it, a, a, somebody who's trying to buy something is going to come here and they're going to want to find some information, but they're, don't, they're not going to want to spend all the time just looking through each of these links, trying to find the information that they're looking for, right? They just want to ask a question and get the answer given to them right away. So for this example, I'm going to use the return policy. And as you can see, it's got some information about the return policy, but again, this is going to be literally be for like each of these 20 links and no, nobody's going to want to read through every single one and try to find the answer. What we're going to do is just go over to the address bar, click on control C to copy the URL, and then go to an AI such as Google AI Studio. And the point of this is that we're going to paste the URL into the prompt section so that we can get all the information about this website in order to ask it to build us the prompt for our AI voice agents. So in order to get it to use the URL as, as a context, we're going to turn on URL context over here. So go ahead and enable this. And also the temperature just means how crazy our AI is. And what I found is that lower is going to be less crazy and higher is more crazy. But if it's anything higher than one, it's just too crazy usually. So for me, I like to use 0 0.4. So that's what I'm going to use today. And so what do we do? We went ahead and we copied the, the URL from the website just so that we, we, we know what kind of information that we're trying to get. And then we brought it over to an AI like Google AI Studio. We changed the temperature to 0 0.4. Then we turned on the URL context function. Then we pasted the prompt over here. And now all we need to do is write a really nice prompt in order to get our AI to write us the system prompt for our AI voice agent because we're going to need to give our assistant some instructions, right? So let's go back over here and let's go ahead and write that beautiful prompt. Remember, for our prompts, we're basically going to give it a goal and an example. That's that's usually the, the, the most simple that we can get it. So we're going to say the goal for today is for you to write me the assistant prompt for my Vabby AI voice agent that would handle support calls for my website. Okay, so I just gave it some context. I gave it a goal. And all I need to do now is to give it an example. Now, what's the easiest way to give an example? Well, that will just be good to give it a successful assistant prompt that you've used in the past. And obviously, since I've been doing this for hundreds of hours, I'm going to save some time by using a prompt that I've already used in the past. So the file that I'm going to use is going to be called ecommerce assistant prompt template.json. So go ahead and open that up. Then hit control A, control C to select all and copy. Then bring it over here and say, here is an example of a successful assistant prompt 
that I want to you to use as a template. Okay. And then we'll just give it and then we'll hit run so that it will run. And now all we need to do is wait for it to finish. All right, so now that's all done, let's see what it gave us and we'll, we'll see if it's usable as is or if we need to go back and, uh, and adjust it a little bit. So real quick, it says, of course, here is a Vappy AI voice agent assistant prompt for your website based on the template you provided and information on your return policy page. That's amazing. So you are Casey, a customer service voice assistant for Goodfair. That sounds good. We're going to give it a really nice personality some speech characteristics just to make sure that it's very natural and it's not sounding, you know, too much like a robot. Next, we're going to talk about the conversation flow, which is basically we're going to have to identify what the caller is calling about. So could you tell me a bit more about what's going on? Yep, that's good. Um, yep, perfect. And also more troubleshooting. That looks pretty good. Yep. Some response guidelines, such as keeping the responses conversational. That looks very good. All right. And the, the, the part that I'm most interested about is the knowledge base. Because as you remember from earlier, the information that we got was from this page, right? So it's basically giving information about where to send the returns to. So it's going to be this location. And we're going to also have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So that should also be spoken here. So... Yeah, customers can return items for a full refund. That's perfect. The return address is this address. And yes, we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So as you can see, it looks like it perfectly got the information from that website. And it also used the template perfectly in order to build a very robust and strong customer support AI voice agent. All right, so now that we have our amazing prompt, all we need to do is go ahead and copy it. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the bottom here go all the way over here to the top and we're going to bring it all the way up to your casey because that's where it starts so hit Control c to copy then we're going to go over to vappy.ai remember the link is in the description you can get started for 100 percent free so once you've signed up go ahead and log in and click on create assistant you can name it whatever you want i'll just leave it as new assistant for now and hit create assistant Next, we need to select our model. Now, there are tons of models for you to choose from. The, the one that I found works the best is GPT 4.1 Mini. So that's what we're going to use. The first message mode is going to be Assistant Speaks First with Model Generated Message. And then the System Prompt is going to be the Assistant Prompt that we just copied over from the AI Assistant. So Control A, Control V. And that's going to replace that information with our new Assistant Prompt. And then just go ahead and hit publish to save. And so basically what we did was we went to vappy.ai, clicked on assistance, created a new assistant, model GPT 4.1 mini. First message mode is assistant speaks first with model generated message. Then we went ahead and we pasted in this prompt over here, over here into the system prompt. And basically what this is doing is this is giving the AI assistant the instructions in order to handle out the customer service that we're trying to get it to do. So. If you want to adjust the temperature here, we can just set it to 0 0.4 because that's my favorite again. Um, 0 0.5 is pretty much the same thing, so it doesn't really matter, but we'll just do that for now. And again, you can also change the voice to whatever you want. This is the default. It works pretty well. Uh, I'll just leave it as default for now, but you can always change it to something that, you know, whatever you want here. And so here we're not going to use any tools because we already have all the information that we need in the assistant prompt, so that's extremely easy. So we can just go ahead and skip tools completely. And the final thing that we need to do is set up a phone number because we're going to need a phone number in order to give to this website so that when people call that phone number, they'll be able to reach that assistant and get the help and answers that they need. So go ahead and click on create phone number. And you can actually create up to 10 free phone numbers for absolutely free, which is amazing. So go ahead and enter whatever area code that you want. I'm just going to choose this for, for now. And as you can see, this is the free phone number that Vappy just gave you. And this is what you're going to put on your website or your client's website so that people who call in can go ahead and talk to that assistant. So Last thing that we need to do is since this is an inbound caller, means meaning that um, inbound just means people are calling into this number. So we're going to need to set the assistant to our new assistant. So click on select assistant and then select the new assistant. And basically what that does is it will assign this assistant to this phone number so that whenever somebody calls this phone number, this is going to be assistant that picks up the phone. So go ahead and scroll back up and just make sure that you hit save so that it's all ready to set, ready to go. 
And last thing that there is to do is basically just wait until this is done activating and then go ahead and give it a call. Hi there. Thanks for calling. Good fair. My name is Casey. Uh, how can I help you today? Hey, Casey, I just want some more information about what I need to do if I need to return something. Absolutely. I can help with that. Could you tell me a bit more about the item you'd like to return for your order? Yeah, so I, I purchased a sweater a couple of days ago and I, I, you know, I just, it's just the wrong size. So I want to get a refund on that. Gotcha. So you'd like to return the sweater for a refund because of the size. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Do you have your order? Great. To start a return, first, please make sure you send the item back within 14 days of receiving it. Next, you'll want to ship it to Good Fair Returns, 5055 South Loop Freeway, East Houston, Texas, 77033. Does that address sound right to you? Yeah, that, that sounds good. So um, you said 14 days, is that right? Yes, exactly. You need to send your return uh, within 14 days of receiving your order to qualify for a refund. Let me know if you want me to walk you through the next step. Uh, no, I can't figure it out from there. Thank you very much. And just like that, I just showed you how to build an e-commerce AI voice agent in just a few minutes. And also, even if you're starting from zero experience. Now, if you want to get that template, go ahead and go to my school community. I'm going to make a post in the templates tab. Just go ahead and click in and then go ahead and hit download. I'm going to make a post and just make it available for you to download so that you can make that AI voice agent in just a couple minutes, which is absolutely crazy. And by the way, if you need any questions, if you need any help, go to the community tab. And ask me any question that you need, and I'll make sure that you get the help that you need in order that for you to deploy that and go ahead and make the money that you're trying to make.